Afternoon folks, looks like we are live here. A happy Wednesday afternoon it is. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Clive Jeffrey, and you can find out more about me on clivejeffrey.com. And then, as always, I produce these videos um, as training for particularly the home business profession or network marketing, um, you know, online marketing area. But for you know, if you're in any kind of business at all, these um, strategies and tips will work for you too. So in today episode, we want to be we're going to be talking about. Uh, Facebook marketing and how to keep it simple and, and uncomplicated. Now, chances are, if you're watching this, you're obviously interested in the home business profession. You're probably in an opportunity at the moment, and you're looking for ways to market it and grow the business. And a lot of the, these network marketing companies, from my experience, they will tell you to first and foremost make a list of you know your uh, friends and family, and go and talk to them about your opportunity and um, they tell you to you know all your people in your circle of influence like your doctor you know all these kinds of people and sure this works this is old-fashioned belly to belly network marketing and it does work but you know if you're like me I just didn't like doing that and uh, quite frankly I never really got very good results doing it so the next thing they'll tell you to do is to go to social media and but they don't tell you how to do it and you know Facebook being one of the biggest social media platforms now with 1.6 billion people, I think it's even more than that now, uh, of active accounts, there's a huge amount of people that you can talk to about your business. Now, just like in with talking to your network marketing, uh, I mean your network marketing, just like talking to your warm market, um, friends and family, etc., chances are they're not going to be interested in what you have to say, and uh, they're not looking for an opportunity and they won't see the vision that you actually see, and this is where people um, make this make big mistakes. You know, they they try and pitch everyone that they see on social media, and by pitching everyone, I mean they they have their company logos and offers plastered all over their their Facebook walls. They have um, the you know the the company brand everywhere you look. And they also take it one step further and they start messaging all their Facebook friends and spamming them with their links. Now, that's a huge no-no. Um, and uh, But the trouble is, this is almost encouraged by a lot of these network marketing companies, but it just doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. You know, the, the biggest thing that people don't realize is that most people come onto social media to be for three reasons. That's to, to be entertained, to be informed, and... Um, to, to be entertained and be informed and to socialize. So those are the three main reasons. And um, if you just start plastering your, your opportunity links everywhere, you're going to turn people off. You're going to re repel them and have the opposite effect to what you're actually trying to go and achieve. So what I found then that the people think, well, this doesn't work. Um, so they may be looking to buy a course. So they buy a Facebook advertising course. And, and then it just goes from being overly simplified where they're just spamming the links everywhere and they've got to get this course and it's all you know hugely complicated where they've got to look at demographics and uh, you know um, build audiences and all these kinds of things and all these new terminologies that they don't understand and it just starts getting too hard and they either quit then or they they muddle along through the the course and they'll like spend a lot of money on producing ads that just don't get results and then they end up throwing in the towel and say that this whole thing just doesn't work. Now, if if you can relate to that, then um, you, you know you, you're in the same boat as me because I went through this process through, and I'm the, the reason I want to make this video is to hopefully to avoid you having to go through this, you know, through a similar thing, because you know you, there's so many shiny objects out there on Facebook. There's like group posting. Uh, tools that you can buy. So this software is going to you know, post in the thousands of different groups, spam, literally spamming your link everywhere. So people start doing that and then they get their accounts shut down. Or you know they produce ads that aren't fall within Facebook's um, specifications and get your ads shut down. Now that happened to me as well. Um, so you know you go through this long learning curve of how to, to start marketing and correctly on Facebook and it can cost you a lot of time and money and also a bunch of your Facebook friends because you just you know you've you're doing what you believe is right but but it just isn't working. You know and that's where I think uh, a lot of people get so frustrated that they end up throwing in the towel and they they all say that you no know, home business and network marketing, um, internet marketing just doesn't work. And that's 
a sad case, but the stats actually back that up. It says like something like 97% of people who join a home business don't actually make any money in it. But that's, it sounds on the surface that that's really bad. But if you look at any business, brick and mortar businesses as well, they normally, the same percentage fail within the first five years. So starting a business is not an easy thing to do. And I think that's one of the things that people don't realize. They get almost misled to thinking that it is, you know, all you got to do is sign up with this program and sit back and uh, cash checks but that is simply not the case you know to build anything that worthwhile and it's just I mean common sense you know you if, if it was that easy then everyone there would be no um, poverty in the world people would just buy a course and sit back and cash checks I mean it just it's just illogical to think that that would work so it's critical that you know how to operate on Facebook correctly you know the the first thing you must realize you know is I was leading to the uh, alluded to those first those three things that people come on to um, Facebook for first and foremost to socialize then to be entertained and then to be informed so you've got to bear those things in mind while you're actually going out and prospecting for people now the beauty of Facebook is that you can use the search uh, bar in on the top of your Facebook to actually search people that possibly would be interested in what products and services you're offering through your home business for example if it's health and wellness weight loss you can search for those kind of groups and see where people who are interested in that topic hang out but just because you find them there, that doesn't mean you say that you just go and spam your link there. No, you've got to remember you're dealing with people, no matter where you are, um, in what you ever you every form of business you're doing. It all comes down to relationships. Just think of yourself if you walk into a shoe shop and you're after a pair of shoes and you've got some pushy salesman coming up to you in your face before you've even had a chance. Chances are you'll just say, "Oh, look, I'm um, just looking, thanks," and turn around and walk out and go somewhere else because of the, you know you just didn't feel like it was comfortable place for you to shop. It's even more so online. You know, people don't want to. They're not online to shop in the first place. So if you've got someone throwing up all the the goods and services over you, you're going to run for the hills. So you, what you want to do is first and foremost, you want to build a relationship with that person. Find something in common, and it could be the fact that you know they're looking to lose weight, and you've got weight loss products. There, you've got something in common. But obviously, you don't. That's not your opening line. Hey, you know, you're looking to lose weight. What you want to do is actually. Take the time, because I know you've always been told it's a numbers game, but it's the quality of the numbers that you go through that make the difference. You know, you want to actually take the time to learn a bit about the person that you want to prospect. So that means going to their actual wall, going through their, you know, a few of their photographs. And sure, you know, it's it, it's not stalking at all. It's you, you're doing um, due, diligence, due diligence and research on that person to A, see if they're going to be a good fit for your products and service or be whether you, they're the type of person that you would even want to recruit into your business because you don't want to just recruit anybody. You know, uh, when you a lot of people make that mistake when they first start out, they just think, oh, you know, anyone that can fog a mirror, they can join my business. But you'll soon find out that those are the kind of people that will whinge and complain and not end up doing anything and then bad mouth the opportunity and saying it doesn't work because they didn't. So you want to do your due diligence on the people that you're approaching. Find out something about them and that way when you actually start a conversation you can bring up something that you saw that okay they're a family person they've got three great kids you can say you know you can actually compliment them on that say hi you know I was just over on your page I saw your great kids you know um, what are the ages and leave that as your opening line so you want to avoid at all costs talking about your opportunity or businesses and products you want to, the, the ideal thing is that you want them to ask you what do you do and then that gives you the opportunity again be very cautious. Don't just then, you know, vomit it all over them. Um, you know, be very strategic in how much you release and um, when you do release it. So, you know, you want to get into them, see what they like, talk about questions about their lifestyle, what they're up to, do they, you know, are they active, are they actively looking to lose weight? You know, what are they doing about it now? What's worked for them in the past? And then, then you can then offer your solutions to them. So, you can see by doing this, you're going to have, you're, not, you're going to have someone that's going to not only um, be attracted to you because you're not throwing up an opportunity all over them. You're genuinely showing uh, concern for them because you've taken the time to go and do a bit of research on them, um, and they are going to more than more than likely be willing to at least look at what you have to offer, and um, you know 
see what your opportunity or products and services are all about. So if you if you take that approach, it's, it's sort of uh, one of my mentors, Diane Hockman, says you've got to go slow to go fast, and this is what she means with that. You've got to take the time to go through the the people to make sure that they qualify first of all for your time. You know, value your own time. You don't want to be speaking to people that you know are, are not going to qualify for your products and services or to to work with you in your business opportunity. So really pay attention to that. Um, now. You know, that's just one little thing that you can go and prospect, you know, by finding certain groups, uh, you know, using the search bar. Um, the other obvious way is then taking it a step further by producing an actual fan page where you can start learning about Facebook advertising because that, if you can put in the time and effort to go down and learn how to advertise on Facebook properly, there's no better platform to do any form of advertising on because you can get so strategic about it. But it, it, no, it takes skill and it takes learning and it's certainly not for the faint-hearted. You don't want to just um, jump into it because you, you, know, you can spend a lot of money and get no results by doing that. So just be wary of it. But uh, you know, if you're just starting out, you know, you've got to crawl before you walk and walk before you run. All those kind of cliches come into play. You want to go through the basics first. So even once you're creating ads all to bring in leads for you, all they are are just another person that um, is being targeted as possibly being interested in uh, your products and services, but you still then have to go out and talk to them and further build that relationship with them and then see if your products and services can help them. So you know, Spending a lot of money on advertising is not going to take away the need to a actually be able to talk to people on a personal level. You know, you're sure you're going to get a certain percentage of that are just going to go through and buy, but you, you are still majority of the people are going to want to know more information. They want to know that they are dealing with a real person and that the person is there is genuinely out to help them. So keep those in mind, and then lastly, you know, you you can start producing content. Um, that actually answers questions for your target market. Sticking with the weight loss theme, you know, you can start producing, um, say, blog posts or even just posts on Facebook, offering tips on how to, you know, nutritional tips. And then, if, say, if they want to learn more, they want to actually get products to speed up the the weight loss process. Check this out, and you can put a link in then to your, you know, your your products and service. But Ideally, you want to send them to something that is, is like a, a bridge to your product and service, something that will be maybe like a, another PDF download, which we call like a, a lead magnet, which is going to offer a, a few more tips and advice before you actually get to your goods and services. So this way, you are going to be seen as the authority, someone that they can um, trust to be able to help them get the results that they're after. So, you know, you can see these... Um, strategies that I've been talking about here are very um, simple to use and they can relate to any kind of business that you're doing. You know, it all comes back to the same thing, building the relationship first, um, getting them to know, like and trust you before you even you know, think about bringing up your business or opportunity. So hopefully you've got some value from this. Now I just want to let you know that tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is actually going to be a webinar held by one of my mentors, and you can register for this webinar on freewednesdaytraining.com. No um, hyphens or anything like that, all one word, freewednesdaytraining.com. And this is all going to be about how to market on Facebook in a very uncomplicated way, and basically going to go through these strategies that I've been discussing here in very much more detail, so that you can literally take them away and start implementing them in your business now. So if this sounds like something that you, um, you know, would get benefit from, then by all means go ahead, register on the link above uh, or around this video now. If, you, if there's nothing there, just go to freewednesdaytraining.com or message me, and I'll hook you up. But hopefully you've got some value from this. If you have, please share the video with someone that you think um, could also use it. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the webinar tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for taking the time to come and watch here live. I really do appreciate you all. And um, I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.